first things first. Let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Browns. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter, and I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way, and I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan, but you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter, couldn't hold on, so plenty can still happen. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start it on the ground with Morris. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The plays like that exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run again with Morris. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Back to throw. Sims. And that is incomplete. So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and trying to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. That'll go as a punt of 42, 7 on the return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick slant to Crowder. Seven yards to pick up there. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slam. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Second and three. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. And he'll give it here to his running back. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That run, that's exactly why you stay with the running game. You don't abandon it totally. You stick with it, 
Keep telling your guys to stay motivated, and they found a crease on that play. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Back to throw. This is the tight end, the Joku. And yeah, he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's second and five now from the 37. He'll look to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 24-yard line. Well, look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly AWOL in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football, but right now they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. They'll look to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. Gonna give this time to the tailback, and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Targets the sideline here. Crowder has it. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second down six. They'll set up to throw. That's complete as he goes right back to Crowder. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown! A seven-yard touchdown for them. And the Browns are on the board here in this Super Bowl. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. A try here for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by the Browns touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
No run back here for Jones. A touchback. Let's go. Let's go. Possession switching back to the New York Giants. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. First down, Sims. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brings up second and four at the 31 yard line. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Shifts by him and able to get this one across the 45 before it's brought down. The teams have a tough time running the balls. This one has throughout this game. It's so easy to just say, forget it. Let's throw the football. But that's exactly why you stay with the running game. Eventually, you stick with it, you make some adjustments, you often find ways to run the ball better as the game goes on. Saquon Barkley, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down now, it's Morris. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Let's go. Let's go. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now, right at the 40. Looking to throw. Sims. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Three yards of the game there, second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. The Giants on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. Gets this one to Morris. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 14. Oh, that's a big let off there on third down because you've got to count for the running back coming out of the backfield. They didn't, and they got burned, not just for a first down, but for big yardage as well. A first and ten at the 14-yard line. Now it's Morris. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him three on first down. 
It'll set up a second and seven. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. defensive coordinators in the red zone. Tight end is obviously a big threat, yet these guys continue to make plays. Is there any other way to stop them? Apparently not. In the red zone, like you said, that's your guy. They got it to him. Supreme confidence in going to a playmaker. Barkley. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? From back at the four, here's second and goal. This is Morris. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them to bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down highlight. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Giants are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was finished up by a touchdown by the New York Giants. But since then, really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence. If you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases. You know, find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. The Browns drive about to get started. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. No gain on the play there. Second down. The 
They're going to look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's up in it after a gain of two out to the 27. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. The Browns on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Definitely desperation time. It just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call. And you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. And New York set to take the field. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. Try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Giants are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. It would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Extra point splits the other points. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. 
And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago is starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Dumps this one off to Mack. With a gain of five. And it's a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. He was a running back who was a receiver on the play. I think he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a the toe tag. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. He'll drop to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. That's to his running back, complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, that's exactly what they got done. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Well, on first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball has a head of steam coming out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. They'll look to throw again. Throwing right, and that's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Looking to throw. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Staying on his feet. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Now back to throw. Complete to Newsom. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. As time has run out on this ball game.
and the New York Football Giants are the toast of the National Football League. They are the Super Bowl champs. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.